Gordon, you're here today for the launch of the Bold Sports Irish Grand National for another three years. And as one of Ireland's leading trainers, to see a prize fund go from 275,000 up to a half a million euro, what does that mean to you as one of Ireland's leading trainers? Obviously, the on um, the Bold Sports Irish Grand National is going to be top of our list. Of race we want to win this year. We're second in last year, just beaten. But um, I mean, it's it's phenomenal. Um, Fairy House, the Bild Sports, the whole team, uh, to have that sort of prize money on offer. Um, I think someone was telling me it's going to be the, the third um, richest race between England and Ireland, so that's it. It's unbelievable, so it is. So uh, I have as many runners as I can uh, in the Bild Sports Irish Grand National next year. Yeah, it certainly is, Gordon. It's the richest race in Ireland now on the on the National Hunt calendar. And for yourself, um, I think from the sponsor's perspective and from Fairy House, we're hoping that an even higher calibre of horse will now target this race. Would that be your thinking? Look, I mean, the, the prize money is that good. You can imagine it, it, it is going to be. It's going to be very competitive anyway. Um, but look, it, it is. A, it's, it's, it's a staying handicap chase, so that you have a certain type of horse for it. But um, you know, you could see horses coming back from the English Gold Cup to, to the Irish Grand National this year. So. Uh, I do as many as I can. And Gordon, you talked about horses coming back from the Gold Cup. Do you think that there will be an increase in UK challengers now because the prize fund has gone up so much? You'd imagine they'd have to be thinking about it anyway. But, um, with that sort of money, uh, I mean, why not? And Gordon, you came very close with Bless the Wings this year, so you know what type of horse it yeah. takes to win the Bold Sports Irish Grand National. Yeah, so obviously, um, just beating it last year, uh, we had a great season last year, and we started off this year again great, but. Uh, Definitely, um, the Wild Sports Irish Grand National will be the top of my list. Um, it's a box we have to take jet, and I'm going to be trying very hard. No, this really, this really uh, ups the ante and the quality of the race now, and especially I suppose uh, the type of horse is going for it as well. Yeah, I think it was it, it was long overdue to bring it back up to where it was. It was our ten year jumps race, and when Punchestown started to go uh, gather momentum, uh, Fairy House kind of got left behind, and uh, the race sort of. Was I'm not saying it went down. It didn't go down. But what we needed was a boost like this to bring it back up into the to, as in the number one spot, the Premier Race, and put the pressure on. Like we knew uh, a race of this value, it's going to be focused on owners' minds, trainers' minds, and it's going to be a target race. The horses are going to be targeted at this race from one end of the year to the other, and you can you can imagine that we're going to have very good horses running in this race. And you're not too far away. You must have many great memories between yourself and, and Paul, of course, together. You'd have uh, many great successes here. Yeah, it's been a very lucky track for me, and I was lucky enough to win the national with, with the Bunny Boiler back in uh, a good few years ago now, and uh, it practically fell at the last, but then uh, the Lord of Ross Garrity somehow st stayed with him and he went one. Paul actually rode the fourth horse in the race that day, rode a different one, but it was, it was nice for Ross to win it. Uh, I've been coming here since I was seven or eight. My, none of my family were interested in, were involved in racing. So we used to be picnic up at Bally Hat. Uh, Dad used to bring us and uh, I'd wander down. And I, I was always from early, early on, I think I remember having sixpence on something. I don't know if you can imagine <laughs> that, but that, that way. But uh, I've been coming here that long and, and my, one of my all time heroes was Tom Draper, who won it again and again. I think he won it eight or nine times in a row. So the day that I won that national, I really felt very proud.